and a stepmother who says she's the target of death threats wants to tell her story. Only 11 News is talking to the last person to see him. I would never, never, ever hurt this child. Rampant online speculation has centered on Tesha Stauk since Gannon disappeared from a neighborhood east of Fountain on Monday. 11 News reporter Catherine Silver is there live now. Catherine, the sheriff's office has not named any suspects or even confirmed that they're considering foul play. They want to find Gannon and bring him home. His stepmother says she wants the very same thing. Tonight, she is only speaking with 11 News reporter Spencer Wilson, and she does not want to show her face. You were the last person to see him. Is that right? Correct. Tesha Stauk has avoided the public eye since her 11-year-old stepson vanished. The rumors have gotten so bad. So I'm like, why are you saying Gannon is dead? He is not dead. We are going to find Gannon. She says she took Gannon hiking at Garden of the Gods Monday. You know, there was comments about Gannon getting pushed off the hike, and there was comments about this, and that's just not true. The two ate at Burger King afterwards, then went home. And then it was just, uh, I'm off to go to plan at a friend's house. Unfortunately, I'm not able to like comment on that anymore, and for that reason, it's because some things have been turned and twisted. Investigators and volunteers are actively searching for the 11-year-old near his neighborhood where he was last seen. His safety is, is paramount to us. His stepmother says she has been questioned. During that time, some of those things made me feel uncomfortable the way they were saying things. So I immediately stopped and felt like, felt like an attorney would help me with some of the vocabulary and things like that that I needed help with. She says detectives told her not to go into any further detail about the last time she saw Gannon. I am going to be so ecstatic when I'm able to say to people that I hope they have a really sincere apology for all these theories that have came out online for all the things they said that I have done or people have done. Tonight, his block is blue. His favorite color, it's a symbol of hope. We should all come together and wait until the end and, and see what happens. His stepmother says she has hope. He will come home. We love you and miss you. And we hope that you come home soon. The sheriff's office is staying very tight-lipped about their investigation. They do say misinformation shared online is not helping their case. Live in El Paso County, I'm Catherine Silver, KKTV 11 News. And you can see the entire interview at KKTV.com. Catherine, thanks very much. Investigators are vetting every single tip they get. They know a lot of people want to help. So the sheriff's office is taking applications for search volunteers. You can find a link to that on our website. Just click there on Find It. Let's get your forecast now with our chief.